State your business, Witcher. Let me pass, Duet. You look terrible, like you haven't slept all night. I'm tired, Count. May I pass? My dear Geralt. I spent the night with a Striga, so my patience runs thin. With a Striga? To what end? Did you kill her? She's no longer a problem. I found evidence of a traitor in the Princess's entourage. Any idea who? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. I discovered a useful diary. Triss Marigold also knows some helpful spells. You should give me Ostrit's diary. The Grand Master commands magic better than that witch Marigold. I never mentioned whose diary. But... Ah, oh, to hell with it. Witcher, join me. Align yourself with the Masters of a New Order. With me, Roderick Duet, the future Viceroy of Tomeria. Who are you working for, Duet? I thought you had it figured out. I'm working with Salamandra, for now. Think you can outsmart them? They're but a means to an end. Join me. You're pathetic. Do I not fit your vision of a noble knight of the Order? I weep to hear it, Witcher. <laughs> You're a boil on this city's ass, and boils are lanced with a blade. For the Order! <laughs> Greetings, Geralt. Have you met Rayla? A singular transformation gave her the gift of life. Geralt! A singular transformation? The gift of life? You call that enslaved bag of blood and muscles alive? Better than alive, perfect. You'll learn that soon enough. This was your experiment? You're pathetic. Rayla, darling. You won't permit this mongrel to insult your master. <sighs> Geralt! Choke on this! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
bitch. What manner of beasts are they? The result of Salamandra's genetic experiments. I came as quickly as I could. It's appreciated. Witcher! The old manor is Salamandra's main base. The front gate's of little use, but there's another way in. An old well goes straight down into the cave. Lead the way. There's more. Inside the cave. Go straight until you find a small passage. You're not coming? Squeeze through. Into the old manor's catacombs. Then, you're on your own. What about you? We'll wait here. See you. admired you, Jane. You might have made a good couple. This farce is over. As you wish. Behold my Koshche, the perfect killer.
How irritating. You just cut up my Kashche, the result of much labor. Now to resolve this matter through more traditional means. I can't wait. My, how threatening that sounded. I warned you, pissing up wind leads to disaster. You talk too much. Scared? This time you pissed in a tornado. Kill him. Your turn, Javed. I learned long ago only to rely on myself. Before I kill you, you must know. Triss Marigold is being dragged to the laboratories as we speak. Torture will follow. Everyone breaks sooner or later. It's merely a question of time. What say you, Witcher? Still the indifferent tough guy? You're bluffing. You send assassins after me, conjure up beautiful words, threaten to kill me. But you're scared to death and simply postponing the inevitable. Alar Zal Bintala. Berengar? I was afraid I'd be late. Can you use a hand? For a second there, I wasn't sure if. I'm surprised to see you. I needed to think. Coward, you know the punishment you face. You can evade it by slaying Geralt of Rivia. You may earn my mercy. Your threats don't impress me anymore. Prepare, sorcerer. I've come here for you. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Berenger made his decision. He knew where Javed was hiding. He also knew I'd find the sorcerer sooner or later. He knew that facing Javed alone was suicide for either of us. Your trick are on naught. Can you hear me? What's going on? How are the experiments progressing? I urgently need those mutated knights of the Order in Vizima. And send me more failed ones. At this stage, I can afford no delays. Respond! Javed's dead. Which a Geralt? Expect to see me, Grandmaster. Soon. Finally. I was worried. I'm not easy to kill. Nor you, apparently. Discover anything in the catacombs? You won't like this. Witcher! Tell me about the Grand Master. Soldiers respect him. You'd follow him into the most desperate fights and still believe in victory. Any magical talents? I've heard his sheer willpower raised the iron gate of a castle under siege. Must be a powerful sorcerer. He's also an excellent swordsman. The Salamander leader is dead. Excellent. And the bad news? It seems that the Order is behind Salamandra. What? 
That's impossible. You lie. There's evidence, Siegfried. We should notify the king before it's too late. We'll use a boat at the dock. Let's meet there. Excellent. Witcher! Is the boat ready? Yes. Grab the oars. Sire, victory. Despite heavy losses, we now control the trade quarter. Excellent. What news from De Wet? He's dead. Cut down by that godless butcher, the Witcher. Useless De Wet. Have the town criers informed the people Adder has become a Strigger? Yes, but the Witcher found the beast. Geralt of Rivia. Only he stands between me and... We must fan the flames of chaos. Release more of our experiments, and let the Elves wreak havoc. Grandmaster, I must protest, as a nobleman and representative of... Enough. Give the people more food, and tell them any God-fearing human can find shelter at the castle of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Adalbert, I thank you for your loyal service. Take him away. A new era dawns. An era of superhumans. None will stop me. I appoint you my new adjutant. Know your assignment? Kill the Witcher. Then go. Geralt, you've arrived at a moment that should be called nothing short of historic. Dandelion, I'm glad you're alive too, but I have important matters. More important than a Temerian redaining alliance with far-reaching consequences? Stop being dramatic and tell me what's happening. In front of Siegfried? I thought the Order was out of favor. This part of the Order is on our side. Though the Grand Master violated his oath, not all knights have lost both mind and conscience. Foltest will be glad. Negotiations with Radovid are apparently going well, and it seems we're gaining another strong ally. We. Oui. When in Vizima, I'm a Temerian patriot. Let's speak with the king. He must learn the truth before he passes rash judgment on the order. What? Welcome, Witcher. Sire. We have several things to discuss. Of course. Stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. You'll get the princess's hand, and if life has taught me anything, half the kingdom as soon as I'm gone. As for de Aldersburg, we need to be rid of him. The Witcher will slay him. What? Relax, we'll pay you as much as you want. I'm a Witcher, not a hit. All right, ten thousand. Isn't that a bit much? Come on, Foltest, the kingdom's worth a lot more than that. Yes, I suppose the boy's right. But you shall take home eight thousand. It's a deal. So, we're all agreed. Radovid, your armies must subdue the Order in Redania and in the north of my lands. My armies will embark on a mission of fraternal assistance. I don't want any fucking fraternal assistance. The phrase rubs me the wrong way. You are to smash the Knights of the Order and withdraw. Relax, Foltest. My children will rule this land. I don't intend to destroy it. <clears throat> Forgive me, Your Majesties, but I feel it's time I... One more thing, Witcher. Yes? So, let's talk politics, and don't you dare mention neutrality. Judging by your company, you're already involved, possibly up to your nose. Sire, your wish is my command. To the average pleb in the street, the Order is fighting my armies, but make no mistake. This is a confrontation between me and the Grand Master, that ambitious fanatic. Directed all of Salamandra's actions and intentionally provoked the uprising. What do you mean? I thought you'd be interested, sire. Very interested. That makes the Grand Master, him alone, the enemy. Is that clear? As day. The Grand Master, rather than the Order as a whole, is the Kingdom's enemy. And the Order need not be a foe. Led by someone sensible, it could be a friend to the people. It could be loyal to the King. Hear that, Siegfried? I do, and I understand. And I shall do everything to save the Order, my King. 
I knew you could be trusted. After your official investiture, visit me at the palace. We have much to discuss, Grandmaster. You count your wyverns before they hatch. Jacques de Aldersburg is alive and well. Sire, one other matter. Yes? How is Ada feeling? Much better than she was as a strigger, yet she won't be herself again for some time. Witcher, how can I thank you? I'm glad Ada is alive and well. Can you ensure that the Witcher's friends will be the same, sire? Yes, that's something I can promise. Witcher, I wish to know who was behind all this. De Wet transformed the princess. How so? On Salamandra's orders. The bastard! If I could get my hands on him! Those responsible assumed your position would be undermined if the princess wreaked havoc as a Striga. De Wet has been punished. I'm glad to hear it. Now go. Vizima is burning, fighting rages. You won't have an easy time of it. People see witchers as monster slayers. Rightly so. Few know we draw greater satisfaction from removing a curse or a spell. Swords are a final resort. As long as there was a chance I could save the princess, I had to try. It was worth it. Then Bold Foltest uttered these words. Virtuous Radovid. What the hell is that? I'm trying to keep a faithful and accurate record of these events. He said, stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. Geralt, you have no sense of poetry. There's the truth of time and the truth of legend. You'll never change. The pen is mightier than the sword. And you'll never change either. Off to save the world again when nobody's asked you. I need to finish something. I understand. Good luck. There's fighting everywhere. I'm afraid we're about to get a closer look at the Grand Master's regiments than we ever wanted to. I don't know if I can raise my hand against a Knight of the Order. You may have no choice. They're out to kill. Bastards! Geralt! I knew him. He was still a human a month ago. Shorter than me. Well, you proved better with the sword. Expect to see more of these monsters in Vizima. It's the Greater Brothers. They wouldn't let me near that project. That is an offense to humanity. Come inside, it's safer. You're right. The squirrels and the order, those dry ones disturb our swamp. 
between a rock and a hard place, huh? I had a dream, white-haired one. Your destiny will be fulfilled. I come to tell you. Mistake not the stars with their reflection in a pond's surface. I'll remember that. Greetings! Prospering dwarf? War can be profitable! If not for the king's taxes, the plague take them. How did you get here? Don't you see? Knights, soldiers, and Skyatel run through the streets, cutting down who they can. I am a traitor to all of them. I see. And all their heads are filled with prophecies, destinies, strange signs, and other nonsense. No one to talk to. Sorry to hear that, but I need to go. Farewell. Greetings. Others stricken by war have sought shelter here. We won't stay long. We need to get to the monastery. So you're among those who have chosen to trust the eternal fire? Hmm. There's no sense in going out in the street again. You'll perish. Is there another route? Try the door in the cellar. Where does it lead? To other cellars. And an exit eventually, I assume. But I cannot guarantee it is safe. We'll risk it. The key should be somewhere in this house. Greetings, Witcher. Greetings. I'm afraid. The time for contempt has come, just as prophesied. What do you have in mind? No Ithleen's prophecy. Not exactly. The war with Nilfgaard proved it. For Ithleen foretold the blood of Enseid, of elves, would drench the land. People thought the age of the sword and axe, the age of the wolf's blizzard, had arrived. Know the rest? Not sure. Then listen. The time of white frost and white light approaches. The time of madness and disdain. Ted Dayred, the end of ages. The world will perish in frost. Enough pessimism. The prophecy has now begun. Depends on us. Farewell. May Melitele protect you. I don't care about prophecies. I care about the lives of ordinary people. I know you care about people. I saw Carmen happy with the captain of the guards. You know they got married? Nice to hear. Thanks to you, Witcher. I heard you cast a spell on Vincent. That poor girl deserved a little happiness. Poor girl? Carmen endured a lot. She lived in the outskirts. Her father was a priest of the Eternal Fire, a damnable man of religion. When Carmen got pregnant, he cast her out. She went to Vizima. You know how that ended. I didn't know. You here? On an important mission for the king. Praiseworthy. I too wish to offer Faltas my services as an advisor in these difficult times. Sadly, I could not get through burning Vizima. I need to get to the monastery. I have learned much about a phenomenon of interest to you. The Wild Hunt. Tell me. In folk culture, the king of the Wild Hunt embodies death. He is the one who takes away souls. He is oft considered as the tool of destiny. Destiny? The Wild Hunt is an omen of war and tragedy. It has oft been seen recently near Vizima. Beware. I must go. Farewell. Witcher! Good to see you. I see war is to your liking, Vitala. I no longer need to hide in the cemetery. It's safer here. I come out at night, find food in the streets. Can't complain. The inhabitants of this home have no objection? They fear me. The little brat comes alone, talks without end. I must go. Farewell. We must hurry. Right. This place has a strange effect on me. The Fisher King netted a water nymph. The temple school? Boring. Go away! There were monsters in the cellar. 
I'll die anyway. They'll find me. They'll get me. Calm down. How do we get out? Through the window. Thanks. Look into my eyes, Dwan, and you will see your death. I see a blind fanatic about to perish. Silence, traitor. You've delivered death too often. Retribution awaits. You might be able to brainwash young elves with your slogans, but they don't impress me, nor did they impress those you murdered. I was wrong about you. You're not worth talking to. You're a blind, rabid dog biting anything that moves. Someone needs to finish you off. Fight! Attack! We couldn't break through. Heavy fighting. Is there a safer way to the monastery? There's another path. Through the sewers. Dangerous. I have a key. Take it. Thank you. You won't... Zugal. Geralt, there's really a Zeugel down there. I hope it hasn't had time to multiply. I heard of one Zeugel, and from what I know you need two to multiply. Zugels are hermaphrodites. They don't need a mate to make little Zugels. They do it with themselves. That's sick. Unnatural even for monsters. We must slay it. I know you're an atheist, but I wanted to ask you to pray before you confront Jack de Aldersburg. Siegfried, I'm not a believer. Doesn't that make prayer useless? Faith and lack thereof differ in that faith can work miracles, while its lack can do nothing. Fine. I'll pray.
again! Lie down, Siegfried. Once again, I'm wounded in the leg before a glorious battle. Geralt, I cannot go on. Ah! Don't move. Foltest's armies will be here any minute. Geralt, go. I shall gather what knights have remained faithful to the Order's tenets. Halt! No passage. Grand Master's orders. I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off. The Grand Master seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. Halt! I'm here on a matter of... Shove off! Sorry. You... Behold, my people. They feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches, a cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice. Each night, I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ithlina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. You, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong. Behold, the scales will fall from your eyes, and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt, it's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me. Now that you have seen the ice-encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling, De Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The White Frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. We can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some.
The unexpected awaits you here. How did you get here? You're stronger than the Grand Master thought. You summoned me. How? The Grand Master invited you into a vision of the future enclosed in his mind, yet you brought your own visions and specters. So this isn't real? It's more than a dream. Should you die here, your death will be very real. I shall accompany you, assist you. But only a blizzard follows us, with nothing beyond it but death. changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. Some my own great-grandchildren. They're human? The White Frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift. You'll reach him soon. Don't give up. I see you have met our degenerate great-grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? I never asked for these visions, this gift. But you chose how to use it. Many times you insisted special gifts should be used for just causes. I chose the most just of causes, saving millions of lives. And pursued it by ending hundreds of others. How many more do you aim to condemn? You have no notion of the approaching cataclysm. The spirits of those who perished wander here. Tell them they had no right to survive. Follows you. 
You killed me, yet I'm happy to see you. There are worse things than dying in battle. I know. I didn't choose a soldierly life to die in bed. Our ties exceed even death. I will fight at your side. Draw your sword, things are about to get interesting. Do you finally understand, obstinate witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? Geralt, they are condemned to perish. I gave them a chance to die in battle. Humanity's also a passing phase. But unlike elves, we won't leave much behind. We won't disappear, not with the guardians I created. You'll see soon enough how well they manage in these conditions. have stopped the Grand Master's madness, but you insisted on stopping us. You resorted to murder and terrorism. That's no alternative. Yet we were right. Behold, humans are naught but bloodthirsty apes. That is plainly visible here. You blindly followed the Order's lead and now brandish your sword against them, like a dog biting the hand that feeds it. But that is what you are. No wolf but a rabid dog, a mindless killing machine. Nobody. Enough, Yaven. Now I shall kill you like the dog you are. 
The Elven Star Rises! Just an illusion, Triss. How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin, used them for the worst ends. Witches were meant to be guardians, but proved too weak. You loathe yourselves. I needed witches, but perfect ones, emotionless, lacking human weaknesses. You see human traits as weaknesses? I pity you. Fear obscures your thinking. My knights never hesitate. Look, Geralt. Humans, monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. True, Your Highness. I should know, wouldn't you say? The Grand Master is clearly a madman. Even I wouldn't dare pursue a plan like his. We must stop him. Milady, your wish is my command. You have class, a rare quality. I wish to fight alongside you. Call it a whim. Part. Why? At the heart of the vision, he controls all. 
You must go on alone. See you, Triss. I'll be back. Good luck, Geralt. Now, do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's Hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. I also have an offer. Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits.
fulfilled your destiny. Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. Words, words, words. Let me remind you, there is death, but there is also choice. I shall not look back. I shall find Salamandra and fulfill my destiny. You were wrong. I come for the soul of someone whose path often crossed yours as it was written. You may fight me, but the end will always be the same. Death. The question is, whose? I cannot be killed. You can delay your end, but it will come. Let us tend to the one already dead. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kaer Morhen, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You passed through Vizima like a sword through a heart, accusing others, destroying lives, mindful of nothing but your own purpose, to be achieved whatever the means. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword, you helped create the foundations for the Order's fanatical reign. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. The Order to which you handed power aims to eradicate all who are not entirely human. What say you to that, mutant? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess. That sword is for monsters. You're awake, Geralt. I was getting worried. Dandelion? 
where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Well, you missed a few things. The rebellion's been quelled and Foltest has regained control of the city, with assistance from the Order. How's Siegfried? He was here a second ago, keeping an eye on you until I arrived. Then duty called. I wonder how he'll manage his Grand Master. Well, I hope. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed, you've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? Only now do I feel my new life beginning. Born anew, baptized in blood and fire. A new ballad? Sounds too pompous, Dandelion. Take a look around. Life is simple, unpredictable, and beautiful. That's something new. You returned from the netherworld, got entangled in a real mess. You faced beasts and bastards who did you harm. And you're telling me life is beautiful? You're exaggerating again. Something ends, something begins. I'll take the last of the stolen secrets, take a deep breath, and move on. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. Jacques de Aldersburg's funeral drew masses. All wished to bid farewell to the man who had saved Vizima. The bloody street fighting ended. People saw the knights as heroes. Non-humans faced greater hatred than they did before the rebellion. The king's edicts punishing the Scoia'tael caused a mass exodus of elves and dwarves. History can at times be cruel. The king turned a blind eye to the iniquities of the Order of the Flaming Rose. The new Grand Master, Siegfried of Danel, reformed the Order, consolidated its power. The sorceresses failed to consolidate theirs at the court of King Foltest. The king punished or exiled those who had plotted against him in his absence. New fortunes were made amidst the ruins. Some won, others lost. The natural order of things. Few knew what had really happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia yet they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire.